All right, hey, how's it going? Look, this is the first video on my channel and I'm just kind of wondering and asking a question, are you able to use this little Mac mini as a streaming computer? Because it's a pretty good price and if you already have a gaming computer and you're like, oh, a streaming computer would be pretty good, but pay all that money for another gaming computer just to stream, this Mac mini might be able to do it. So I'm only making this video because a lot of people on the internet have made a video, made a little review on the Mac mini, but they haven't really made any type of a uh, streaming review. You know, they haven't put the Mac mini to its paces. You know what I mean? So I decided to get the Mac mini and I am using it to record all type of videos. It's been working pretty good. I had a little bit of an issue trying to get my audio working with the Beacon mic. If you want to make want me to make a video on how I got the audio to work with the Beacon um, microphone, not the Beacon microphone, but the Beacon studio, like little, I'll, I'll show what it looks like, okay? But look, this is my first video, and if you're watching, I'd very much appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. If you don't, Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll get you on the second video. Maybe, 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 possibly, you know, possibly. But I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I do with the Mac Mini. Now, the first things first, um, streaming with it, it works amazingly. Uh, I stream on Twitch. If you want to check out my Twitch, you know where to go. But I stream with it and it works actually really good. I haven't found any issues of like, OBS crashing. Now, one thing I did find, which is actually amazing, I use OBS, right? Okay, so imagine over here we have OBS and OBS records my stream. So I have it in this super wide canvas. Well, two, I think 1080p canvases or maybe 4K. I can't remember. Uh, I'll put the resolution on screen right now, but I'll have two canvases, one with my camera on this side, and then one with my gameplay on this side. Then I'll open up another software, which is Meld, Meld Studio, a, a wonderful, wonderful software. You guys want videos on that? Let me know. Um, nobody subscribed to this channel, but I'm just talking into the void and seeing if anybody hits back, you know, but Meld is great for streaming and it's very simple. I can make a very nice stream in a matter of seconds. So, so I have a stream with Meld Studio and then also I have my OBS recording everything, right? All I have is two capture cards. I have um, the Elgato 4KX and I have just a random um, EVGA capture card. Very cheap capture card, works amazingly on the Mac, surprisingly. But back to streaming, so I'll have OBS and meld, I'll be able to stream and record the scenes. And then after I'm done, I can go straight into editing. And that's kind of like a very hard task to do on my old streaming computer, which had, um, I think a Ryzen processor. It had a 3060 GPU. It had SSDs. It had the storage and it had everything, but it would just, it would just hiccup doing that one task honestly with the m4 i only have the base m4 mac mini there's no like you know i'm not using the pro i'm not using the extra ram i'm just have the 16 gig m4 mac mini and it works actually really good so you know hey maybe maybe it's a really good system to stream with i don't know i i could do I could do some videos on kind of messing with it and do some like kind of tutorials on how to set things up if you guys want me to or if you know this conversation of using the mac mini as a streaming pc is kind of what you guys are talking about so let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on the Mac mini as a streaming PC or if anybody has had the same thoughts as me and decided to use it and try it. One thing I had to get right was the USB hubs. So hold on. I got one right here. Hold up. Hold up. Is a, it's a U green. Hold on. Focus. Focus. 
Okay. Okay. This is the U Green USB C little adapter here. It comes with little four USBs, and I have two of these. So I have two of them in the back, one with all my capture cards. So I have two capture cards, and then I have the audio from the Beacon Studio. And then I'll have, I have a, like a little USB switcher for to switch between the gaming PC and the Mac PC. So I have this um, Ugreen, I think it is a Ugreen. I have no clue what company it's from, but I'll show you guys the whole, I'll show you guys my whole desk setup in the B roll. Okay. This is actually, you know, my savior right here. This, you know, this little uh, USB C hub. It works amazing. I connect both capture cards. It runs perfectly. I don't see any skipping, any stuttering, any lag, but I think it works actually pretty well. Um, so I need to do a lot of uh, a lot of testing, but so far when it comes to streaming, I'll let you I'll leave you guys my Twitch and my YouTube channel. Um, where I mostly make the majority of my other content for my other channels. This tech channel is like a new venture for me. So if you guys want to see all of that and see how the Mac mini stacks up and all the things that are recorded, you can go check out those channels and see what you like. Um, it's more of like gaming type stuff. So if you're interested into that, go check it out. But in conclusion, um, I think the Mac mini M4 I think the Mac Mini M4 is actually a really good streaming PC. It it doesn't fold, man. It doesn't stop. I had two instances of OBS open and meld open with tons of um tons of Google Chrome tabs open ready to go and it it just doesn't fold. It doesn't fold at all. Uh I don't know, man. It's just, uh, I can't, I can't make this thing, you know, I can't make this thing come back to reality and just, you know, maybe give it a, give it a, just, just a little lag, just, just, just a little, but maybe, maybe, you know, it just gets better, you know, as a streaming PC, you know, there's the problems with no USBs, but at the hub, the USB hubs just kind of make it work. I got tons of storage from this little this little storage thing. I have a server, so I'm not really too keen on uh, storage. I have my storage server right there. I like record straight to the server. I don't have 10 gig, but I don't really need 10 gig. I'm not editing off of the Mac mini. I'm just recording my streams and sending it to the server. And then after that, I will edit on my PC, which does have 10 gig connected to the server. So it's just, it's kind of a match made in heaven when it came out. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys think of my first video on the channel on, you know, the Mac mini. Maybe I'll make some videos on like some of the plugins that I have or maybe how I set up my Mac mini. Definitely. I might need to make a video on um, how I set up the uh, beacon microphone. I need to show how I set that up and how I got the audio working and be able to see all the different channels and everything. Trust me, it was a very long process. And I was like, Oh, if this is going to be this hard to get audio set up, you know, with the Mac mini, it's going to be terrible because I want my audio to be separate. I want everything to be separate with the audio. And the beacon works great when I had it on my streaming PC when I was on Windows and I decided, you know, maybe it'll work on the Mac and it had a couple of problems, but on the beacon website, there is a, you know, they're eventually going to come out with a Mac, um, a Mac capable application. So maybe, you know, I'm hoping that comes out. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it comes out very soon because the way that I decided to fix it, it cost, it cost quite a bit. It cost a bit of money to get that, uh, to get that working. But that's the end of this little rant, little video. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and I'll see you guys later.